body mind and spirit uh, of course to, to win the fight that's our goal both of us have a goal like that so, you know, Errol, in speaking with your trainer, Derek James, uh, in, in advance of previous fights, you know, I know you guys really always try to look for tendencies, specifically he looks for tendencies. He had a hard time finding them against Mikey Garcia. Uh, have you noticed any tendencies that I have to imagine the challenges uh, just as difficult against a guy like Mikey Garcia? Well, definitely. I mean, he has a lot of tendencies. Of course, you're going to find some of his, you know, that smirk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his career span. I mean, of course, you're going to find some tendencies, you know, and things like that. But, you know, and all in all, he's just a, a guy that's going to get out there and fight. You know, when, he, when, when it's time to buckle down, he's the guy that's going to fight, you know, and that could be a pro and a con. But um, at the end of the day, you know, he's going to make it a fan friendly and great fight. You know, Errol Spence obviously known for, uh, you know, the body, the vicious body work, the, the jab. How do you intend to, to stop that and negate those things in this fight, Manny? How do you to, to, how do you anticipate being able to negate his jab and, and protect yourself from that vicious body stop? We have a, um, a couple of uh, strategies that makes so that uh, we can apply in the fight. So, but I will, I will see that. Okay. Sure. Okay. How, how would you rate Errol Spence in terms of uh, all the opponents you faced? And you faced a number of incredible ones over the years. Uh, how would you rate him as an opponent? Um, is this the biggest challenge? One of the biggest uh, challenges in my career. I cannot say the biggest challenge because I have been uh, fighting as the uh, um, best fighter in the world, like um, Keith Orman, De La Hoya, um, Miguel Cotto, um, a lot of those mm -hmm. fighters. So one, one, one of the best. Uh, well, if I'm not mistaken, you have beaten more champions and former champions than Earl Spence has combined fights in his career. Do you think there's anything he can show you that you haven't already seen before? I, uh, you know, I've been in boxing more than uh, 25 years in my professional career. I think, uh, you know, I've been boxing 30 years. So I think I already uh, uh, saw the different kinds of style and different kind of uh, of uh, passion that I encountered in the ring. And, um, this this kind of fight is uh, I always consider this uh, as uh, one of one of the top uh, fight. Well, just a fun fact: uh, when you fought your first pro fight, you were just four years old. <laughs> and when you won your first world title, he was eight. So uh, certainly the experience advantage in terms of years. Do you think at 42 years old, he has the power to knock you out? Uh, finish you? No, I don't think myself. You know, you know, getting knocked out. You know, there's just something I don't see. But, um, you know, we're definitely going to be cautious and, and mindful that he does have power. Because, I mean, he did knock down Keith Thurman. We did hurt him with a body shot. So um, we're going to keep that in mind. But you know, at the end of the day, it's not to think about getting knocked out or can he knock me out. You know, I don't think you know, any fighter you know, can knock me out. Do you think that uh, at this point, uh, six weeks out, and, and with the South Paw Spark, that you can finish him? Um, you know, I definitely, I definitely have the ability to. I definitely have the ability to finish him. So, um, you know, well, for me, it's to win the fight. It's to stay focused on the fight. I feel like when you go out there and you rush and you try to go for the knockout, I feel like, from my experience, even in the amateurs, you either look sloppy or, you know, something goes wrong and you look like you're trying too hard. So, for me, it's to, you know, just, you know, go at my fight, you know, go at my pace. And uh, if the knockout comes, go for it. But if it don't, you know, go for the big all right. Well, I know there's certainly a lot of intrigue, and we could continue this conversation, and we will continue this conversation again soon. But I want to leave this opportunity for both of you to do some closing remarks. So I'll start with you, Errol. Closing thoughts here. My closing thought is it's going to be a great fight, entertaining fight. Oh, man, Pacquiao is going to bring it like he always do. Show a lot of heart and dedication. 
and um, it's gonna be an entertaining fight for the fans, and I'm definitely gonna come with the victory with if it's a stoppage or a win. Very well, Mr. Mayor Yes, uh, I would like to um, invite all the fans to watch this fight, this uh, one of a kind fight and uh, prestigious fight. Um, it's gonna be a good, a good fight, more action in the ring, um, as we uh, expected. Uh, and uh, thank you for all your support. Um, I'm so thankful to God for uh, you know 20 years uh, fighting in, in here in the states. Uh, um, until now, I'm still fighting uh, to uh, one of the best uh, fighter in, in the world. So I'm so thankful to God and thankful to all the fans and media who are always supporting us here um, in boxing. Not only me, but to all the, the uh, boxing uh, industry. Thank you so much for all your support and salamat sa lahat ng mga Pilipino na lagi na support us sa akin. And please watch this fight against uh, Errol Spence is coming uh, uh, 20, August 21. Kiving ka ibala ng pelea entre mi mani pa kaya o kay Errol Spence as a specialist. All right, well, you mentioned the media. We'll allow you guys, thank you both very much, we'll allow you guys to face off for them uh, as they do their scrum. Uh, lots of intrigue, as I mentioned, off the top. August 21st, T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. You're not going to want to miss it for more on this epic super fight. We'll send it back to King Abdo.